Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com's training videos in Chief Architect. Today we'll be discussing the all new features with X15, specifically their grass feature. Oh my gosh, we have been waiting forever to get this grass feature on Chief, haven't we? This is great. So let's take a look at all the cool little features that we have with this program. Uh, first, I'm going to take a little 3D uh, view of my model. I have a little house here. I've colored the grass dirt. Remember that used to be that old color grass? <laughs> so we're going to dress this uh, front yard up with some actual real grass. So let's go ahead and do that. If you go under the terrain tool, you'll have this new region called the grass region. Of course, you can do round kidney just like the garden beds and the water feature. So it's really neat. So I'm going to take the rectangular one. I'm going to kind of drag up near my house. I'm going to go right past my walkway, my walkway to my house, go all the way to my actual driveway and then down to my sidewalk here and let go and it will immediately build the grass for me which is a really nice feature and again you can zoom in and see it's really doing a good job it actually puts down a dirt level as well as the grass level so chief did a really cool job adding this feature now when you double click it you have some great options you can mess with like the density the minimum height uh, and max height as well as the width and the curve like I could turn this curve up 45% on both ends. And what it does is it actually curves the grass even more so. So it's even more realistic. You can change the noise frequency in it. You can change the density of the grass. You can even change the color. Like let's, let's go a little bit lighter on one of the sides of the grass. And you can really see it change. And again, they even have mow, like it looks like it was just mowed. <laughs> which is a nice feature. Apply what you like and see how it goes. It's wonderful. I think it's just a great tool. Another thing I've noticed too that it's kind of fun to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a little planter in the back here. You know, remember how you used to have to choose plants and put them in and see if you can make the thing look good? Well, one option we have now is with this grass region, I'm just going to draw a small little region for the grass region, say about here, here, and here. And then I'm going to open it up, making sure its density is pretty high, right? We're going to take the max height. I'm going to go from 15 to 24. And there I have an instant bush that I could put a planter around. I could, you know, detail it out in any old different way. But uh, you'll notice it if you zoom in here, it is those grass pieces that are are, are coming right into the dirt area that they have. So it builds for a nice, wonderful bush that you can make different sizes, different heights, different shapes, and of course, different colors, which is really neat. And then of course, it's just as easy as taking a CAD line and we'll stick a little planter box around it. And we'll tell this CAD line to convert to a 3D molding polyline, right? That sounds good. So we'll choose 3D Molding Polyline. Click OK. And on the Moldings tab, we'll make uh, make it like, I don't know, 4 width, maybe 12 high. Vertical offset, I think we'll do like 2, negative 2, something like that. I don't know. There you go. And then uh, let's hit the spray button and look for our favorite brick color. And with Chief's little enhanced searching tool, that shouldn't be too bad. Brick, brick, brick. Find me some brick. Uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, because what you did is you waited to see if Dave would make a planter out of brick. Oh, and of course it's going the wrong way, so we want to use our rainbow tool to adjust any brick and keep the pattern the same. And we will turn it 90 degrees, and we have a instant planter box, which is just... I think oh, amazing. So if we need to pull it out a little further, make it look a little more realistic, I'm going to pull it here, pull it there, pull it back there. And then we can add some regular plants like we've done here and just kind of spice it up a bit. You know what I mean? And we'll put a plant here, put a plant there. And uh, of course, you can increase the size, increase the height on all these, lowering the grass if you need to. But pretty quickly, you can make yourself a really nice planter box that's all filled up with grass or weeds, whatever you want to call it. This has been Messing with the Grass Tool here at ChiefTutor.com. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new and talk to you guys again soon.